Now I've got these setting up on top of my roof here mounted. Temporary, I guess you could say. Cable just hung out to the side there. Running through the roof and I'll show you what I made to transition into the roof out of some Delron material. Delron material, I think they call it. But I've got two 305 watt Jinko solar panels up there. Put up somewhere around 36, 37 volts. And of course the wattage depends on the that sun sitting way up there. Yeah. Pretty bright up there, ain't it? But that's what I got on the roof. Now let's connect you up with the rest of what we're using to do this test. Now here's your image of the two same panels that I got up on the roof. Looking at the face of them laid up against the building here. And they have your standard cables, connectors like the MC4, I guess you call them. Let me grab you one and I'll show it to you. Yep, let's see if we can get back here. There we go. A Jinko. If I can get one flipped a little bit here and get behind it, I'll get you a shot of the actual. Oh, let's get out of the way here. Okay, there you go. Photovoltaic voltaic modules. Picked these up used from a guy uh, about 100 miles from here. And, uh, you know, with this uh, solar craze out there, everybody wants to try to figure this stuff out. If you hire somebody to put them in, it's super expensive. And I, my little test I'm doing here today is just a test to see if it's really worth putting these panels up, if it's going to help at all. This is not a full-blown installation. Like I said, this is just a little test of what we're doing. So let's get on to the next part of the video. Well, guys, my name is Larry, and welcome to my YouTube channel. And thank you for watching. We're out here in the big city of Owen, Alaska, Texas, or close to it, right beside Lake Livingston. Now, today's uh, the purpose of today's video is just to give you some ideas of uh, these MVC microinverter—I mean WVC microinverters. Now, I got two different ones here. I got a WVC 600 which you're able to hook up two different solar panels and then I got another one that's a WVC 300 now my question that I had to the people that I bought this one from was can I hook up two 305 watt solar panels to that WVC 600 and out of six people that I asked and most of those were Chinese sellers because probably that's where all this come from but you, oh yeah, four of them said, yes, you can hook it up, no problem. Two of them said you can't. So the two that said you can't are going to be the, the truthful ones. What I did was I went out there. You see here, I put me two little old meters on here. A central timer and a kilowatt meter just to kind of monitor what these panels are doing. Now, by no means did these guys give me these inverters. I bought them. I paid for them. So I'm not sponsored by anybody. I'm just trying to pass on some information that I couldn't get in a YouTube video anywhere. Now, my theory was, and their their answer to the question was, uh, you know, my, my question basically was, can I run two of them Jinko 305 watt solar panels on this microinverter WVC, WVC 600? I tried it. As you see here, I got two, one set of panels coming in, and I actually had this set of panels coming in down here as well well it worked pretty good until it got in the hottest part of the day then you come over here and you see this panel I took a heat gun and let me grab it I'll be right back okay guys I made it back sorry about the interruption there but anyhow I took one of these infrared red guns and that's made giant as well most likely and I was checking the temperature right in this area of the inverter here when I had them both hooked up now you see right now I got one inverter hooked up and we're going to shoot some temperature on it. It is actually 113 degrees and we're about noon and it's about 98 degrees outside. Now the other day when I had both of them hooked up, two Jinko 305 watt solar panels hooked up to this one inverter, this temperature when I checked it with this gadget right here was 158 degrees. And no sooner than it hit that 158 this light went red the microinverter shut down it just just got too hot so I immediately unplugged it I went in 
had one of these sitting in a box, the 300, set it up here on the top. Right, so I've got one in, one solder panel running to it and one solder panel running to that. So somebody tells you that you can run th two 305 watt Jinko solder panels on one of these micro inverters at WVC 600, it just ain't going to happen. Um, you know, a 305 watt solar panel, these things are four years old, five years old. They're probably, you know, you look at them, if, if they're rated at 305, they're probably going to put out about 280, 270. And, and that might have been the case when it was getting real hot. But uh, now we look at what they're putting out. Now, <laughs> you're going to say, why do I have that unplugged upside down? Well, it's because this connection right here, right here has plugs going three of them this way and three of them going that way. So, yeah, this is upside down. I apologize for that. And I also apologize for the noise from the fan, but it's just too damn hot, folks. I can't deal with that at my age. Now, this meter here is actually set up running on, yeah, let's see. This one here is set to the top, which is over here. And the kilowatt meter is sitting on this one over here. Now they flash and they searching again. But to give you an idea, the centimeter, let me see if I can get a shot of it there. I'll run through the stages so you can see what they're doing if I can get you a good shot of that. You see how many how much time has been on them? I plugged them in right before night last night, so 124.3 volts. And I like this meter here because it has a light lighted display. 1.484 amps. The low on the wattage side was 0 0.1. Watts 237.7, 182.9 watts, C currently producing 183.9. Then we're back to kilowatt hour 0 0.571, and back to the voltage. And this one's going to be a little more challenging. It doesn't have a backlight on it. We're going to hit the volts 122.9. This one's easier to, to use and read, the kilowatt. There's your amps, 1.74. There's your watts, 182. Hertz is 60. Kilowatt hours, 0 0.37. So they'll start producing now because we've got them in direct sunlight. Two panels on the roof, like I showed you in, in the other part of the video. Uh, like I said guys, this is not a professional hookup, this is just a testing setup. We just wanted to see if you could run those two panels on, on that one inverter. Uh, 305 watts is too much, so probably what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to take this one here that I have one 305 watt panel hooked up to it. I've got another 100 watt panel that I can tie into this side, and it should be enough for this thing to handle it. But uh, guys, I, that's about it. Uh, I'll get you some more videos as we progress. We're going to add some stuff to this and continue testing. Would I buy more of these micro inverters? I'm not sure. You know, I'm going to run these for about a week and see how they how they work out. I think I'm going to try a couple of in phase. Now, something I didn't mention was I've got these inverters mounted inside the warehouse. I have got a 25 foot run of cable, just temporarily. Let's see if we can get it up here. Run through the roof, and I made a transition piece that out of some Delran material. And let me show you that. Okay, guys, this is the Delran material, and I'm going to put a video out of how I made this transition piece out of this stuff to go from my roof down into my warehouse. And I couldn't find any videos also of, you know, could you actually run these that distance and they still be efficient? I'm still looking for that. Hopefully somebody out there can answer that question. We got a 20 foot, 25 foot run from the solar panels to the micro inverters inside the warehouse here. I don't know that they're set up to be used that way but I wanted to test them that way to see if it would work out. So time will tell. You know, in phase is pushing their inverters very, very hard. And it looks like a little high quality, a little more high quality than these cheap micro inverters. But if the micro inverters do the job, it might be the way to go. Everybody has their own personal opinion. And me, I'm not ever having an in phase. Uh, I think I need like an IQ 7 plus or something like that to run on 305 watt solar panels. I may buy a couple of in-phase uh, microinverters and hook them up and see what happens as well.